Now, what could that be? Front door. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, guys, welcome back to another video of I Bike for Fishing. Nice. How do you got it? All right, guys, 30 pounder. All right, hey guys, welcome back to another episode of I Bike for Fishing, and we have a triple unboxing for you guys, and possibly by the title of the video, you know what's in the last box, but first, let's open the 2021 February Shore Saltwater Box. I'm not going to review it, I'm just going to open it and see what lures are in there, but we got some uh, sand, sandbar tackle circle hooks, um, kale circle hooks. We got a, whatever this is, weird looking spoon. Um, what's next? Nice little uh, jerk bait, diving jerk bait. Um, ooh, an underspin. That is a very good bait. Um, swim baits. And more, oh, what are these? So basically, it's a fluke, a little fluke. All right, so put this all away. So that's what's in there. Then next, Amazon box cover. Sorry, you're seeing the bottom with the instructions. The address is up here. What's in here? Ooh, I was not expecting that. We got my GoPro batteries, because I've been working on one GoPro battery after all of mine got water damaged. Sweet. All right, now, what y'all have been waiting for, the title of this video, I'm sure you can tell what's already in here, but let's open it up. As you can see, not opened yet. Um. Just got this literally like 20 minutes ago. I had to go deal with something first before opening this up. But oh, I can see it. There she is. Possibly the last bait caster I will ever have to buy. Get out of here. SLX DC. Now, for some reason, it's opened. Hmm. That's not a good sight to see. You can see the seals already. I just opened the box. Um, let's hope it's not used, but... All right, we're opening it up. Looks like it's been messed with. So we got this. This is the real off the side. You got schematic and real oil. All right, that's good. That means it wasn't tampered with too much because we still got everything that looks like every, it's, everything's unused. So we got the box. Now for the real, possibly the last bait caster I'll ever have to buy. Oh, here it is. Oh, beautiful. Oh, you can hear it a little bit. Let me. Oh, that is so sweet. Nice. This is so cool. Oh, that is so cool. Can you hear it? Oh, that is so cool. All right. Um, so first impressions, it's a beautiful reel. 
my goodness, it is beautiful. Um, I love the matte black finish with the SLX DC right here in blue. I love the silver ring right here. That's, that's a good finish. Great build, I can just tell. It's liquid smooth, holy. So smooth. Um, open up the side plate. There you got, got your DI, uh, DCI4 uh, digital chip system right there, the same as the Crado DC. That is a reason I got this one over the, one reason I got the this one over the um, Corrado is because uh, they have the same digital chip system. The only difference is the micro module uh, gearing in the Corrado and the, f the finish. It's, um, it's a different finish where it's a little more durable, but honestly, that doesn't really matter to me. I sh as long as I got a DC reel. And obviously, 90% of the reason I got this is for that zing sound, but um, we'll go ahead and cut to a short clip of that real quick. All right, guys, I hope you like that clip. So now let's get right into the specs of this thing. So this is the, um, the, SLX DC 151 HD 150 it's a 150 size spool 151 meaning left-handed um, I grew up only using left-handed reels my first bait caster was left-handed so that's what I learned to fish a bait caster with um, the HD standing for uh, high gear so 72 this is a 72 to 1 which in my opinion is literally perfect it has 11 pounds of drag at max um, it's got um, Hagani body, so it's uh, their version like of a composite body. Uh, like I said, it's got the IDC4 um, digital control chip in here. It's got a S3D spool, um, and it's got super free spool. Not don't re don't really know what that means, but, but. all right. Um, I really like the finish of this. The um, smoke, smoke, uh, smoke color handle, you get all these blue accents, the, um, the, the black end caps, he's nice size, really nice size knobs. It's, it feels really nice in my hand. Obviously, it's not super light because it's a DC reel. This comes in at 7.6 ounces, um, four bearings with one roller bearing. Um, and it can fit 105 yards of 45 pound braid. I'm gonna put 25 pound braid on here. Um, I'm gonna take it off my other uh, reel. But, uh, all right, let's get right into the spooling. All right, guys, so I'm gonna be taking the line off this Shimano Casitas. This is my favorite reel baitcaster ever at the moment. Um, honestly, the best the best bait caster for its price range. And it literally looks very similar similar to the um, SLX DC. Very similar. So uh, let's go ahead and, I was swim bait fishing, micro swim baits. Um, let's go ahead and cut this leader off. I have this reel on a uh, Defender Lunkers TV rod. It used to be seven foot five. But unfortunately, it got slammed in a door. It's now around six foot eight. But I now use this as a beef stick. This thing has a backbone. Like, since it's so much shorter, it's more of a heavier, extra heavy action rod now. So, this I'll throw swim baits with. So, since I fish from shore, I don't need super long rods. But this is what I have that for. We're gonna start reeling now.
Alright guys, we have successfully put all the line on here. Um, it's completely full and I took all of it off of here because they're both uh, 150 sized uh, reels. They're actually exactly 151 HD, which are both 7 to 1. And um, I love this because it's just so versatile. Um, I put 25 pound braid on here. And that's just because I can, with this braid, I can... I can do so much stuff with it. I could throw light lures with lighter leader. Um, I can throw heavy top waters. Um, this is just such a versatile reel, especially with the DC chip in it, where I can go from throwing a Ned rig, not even adjusting the brakes, to throwing a uh, two ounce whopper plopper. Um, but uh, tomorrow, hopefully I'll be going out and testing out this reel. So um, let's get right to that. Okay, hey guys, we're finally out here finishing the video that I was going to finish over almost a week ago now. But the weather, I don't know if you can tell, but it's super cloudy. It's been raining and been under, under 32 degrees and just haven't been able to fish. But um, today it's, it's cloudy and like 50 degrees with wind chill of like 40 something, low 40s. So uh, we're out here filming the SLX video. So let's see if we, we're just gonna cast it around, but hopefully we'll see if we can catch something. We'll see here though. Pricked myself as you guys can see. Does not feel good. It's been bleeding for a couple minutes. But I think I'm going to tie on a crankbait, a lipless. We'll see. We'll see if the fish are biting today. Tie on a three, I think this is three four ounce. We'll see. KVD uh, lipless crankbait in crawl daddy color. We'll see what happens. Usually it's this time of year that they start biting. But we'll see. It's been a chilly winter, so I wish my finger would stop bleeding. And I haven't even casted it yet, so it'll be the first time me ever casting a DC reel. Or not ever, but my DC reel. I just need my finger to stop bleeding. It slowed down a little bit, so we'll see what happens. Gotta put on the GoPro. Alright guys, we got the, the SLX DC 151HD all set up. Now, uh, let's set this GoPro up and uh, let's see if we can catch some fish. Alright guys, we got this. Tighten this up just a little bit, just for the first couple castings. I haven't used it yet. Good. I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna keep it on three for now. I don't know if you can see my finger. Got blood on my hands, but all right. Let's see what what happens. First cast ever. Oh my gosh, that was so cool. Definitely gonna loosen this up a bit. All that sound. Loosen this a bit. Oh my gosh, the distance and the sound. Like, it doesn't even feel like it's gonna overrun because it's on three. We might have to put that on two. Let's see what happens. Right, we got setting it's on setting two and it's about you can see that like maybe a foot a little more than a foot a second all right we'll see what happens 
please don't backlash. Barely, little, just a little bit of overrunning. I didn't even thumb it. We can loosen that more because I'll start thumbing it. I have this on a uh, favorite wiper, seven foot, medium heavy. It's more of a medium action rod, but this is like um, my jerk bait rod. But I put it on here because I like it for crankbaits because it's got a fast action tip and I like that for crankbaits. Gosh, that's flying. And that sound is just amazing. I'm gonna go over here and put it in front of this camera right here. Amazing, y'all. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching that video. Um, that I was going to include a overall review of the video, but I started editing it and it's just gonna be way too long. It'd be like a 25 minute video and I don't want that. So we're gonna do a separate actual in-depth review about it. But this video was all about the uh, unboxing and first impressions and a field test of the SLX DC right here. Um, I'm sorry about the GoPro footage, it, I fixed the problem, um, the resolution was jacked up, and that's my fault, I should have checked before I recorded, but um, thank you guys so much for watching the video, um, if you guys haven't seen my last video on the Penn International, go ahead and check it out, if you guys aren't already following my Instagram, please go follow it, link will be in the description, and I'll see you in the next video of iBike for Fishing, peace out guys.